Of University of Washington scholars sat on a panel tonight to break down more than just the medical implications of the COVID-19 virus. They discuss everything from how we got to this point to how we could see the economy suffer on a global scale. Today, our panelists. Health officials still have some uncertainty about how widely the COVID-19 virus could spread. Meanwhile, scholars are tackling what damage the virus could cause on a global level. Yes, a break, outbreak of a large infectious disease is never just about a, you know, science or, or medicine. It is always political, social, cultural, um, economic event. A packed room for a round table at the University of Washington provided some insight into how the virus could trickle into more than just hospital rooms. It's now a global disease. That's going to have global impacts. Impacts political scientist David Bachman says could become more noticeable. We're going to start to see delays in, uh, in orders for cars, for example. Increasingly, we'll see uh, slowdowns in the availability of uh, electronic products, com consumer goods. Uh, so it's going to have quite a substantial impact. Preparations for global implications are hitting home on many levels. Locally, apartment complexes in Seattle bringing in more cleaning services. This letter sent to residents in West Seattle. And just last week, Seattle Parks and Recreation announcing that it's boosting cleaning efforts at its facilities, including community centers. All while health officials and scholars try to keep the virus at bay here in the U.S. What we need is to work together to find out what is really going on and what we can do to um, hold on to the to humanity. Political scientist David Bachman added that any impacts we do start to see here in the U.S. could last for the next several months. Adding another layer to all of this, he says he would argue that this virus has spread so far that China is not going to be the source for Americans who contract the disease in the future. Back to you in the studio.